Welcome to The Author's Journey with number one international best-selling author and in-demand publisher, Rebecca Hall Greider. Today, we'll showcase the works of an amazing best-selling author, find out the story behind their book, and explore ways to bring your message powerfully forward. Now, here's your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. Welcome, everyone. I hope that you're having an amazing day. Honored to be connecting in with you as we lean in to candid conversations with best-selling authors who pull back the curtain and really share what the journey is like, what it takes to bring a book forward, surprises along the way, things they wish they would have known, um, things they discovered that they get to lean in and share with us. So I'm really excited to have, we actually have several people on the show today, so I'm excited about that. Normally, we are talking with an author or a compiler, and today I'm excited that we not only have our author that is joining us, he's actually brought some of the team that has been part of bringing this book forward that are going to lean into the conversation and share with us too. So I'm very excited. I think you'll find great value out of today's show. So a couple tips to get the most out of our time together. One, grab a piece of paper and a pen, a writing utensil where you can actually write down those insights or moments that touch you or or that's an aha moment for you or perhaps it's something we share sparks something within you. Capture that. Write it down. Writing it physically connects your hand and your heart together and the message together, bringing great alignment, helps bring it forward. Two, you're bringing into reality. We're so often distracted by shiny objects we think we'll remember, and then halfway through the show, we forgot what that brilliant moment was. So capture it, write it down so you can keep it top of mind to really serve and support you. And secondly, be present. Take a breath. Choose to be fully present, mind, body, soul, and spirit. Not just in body. Sometimes our body's here listening, kind of, but our mind is somewhere else. (laughs) Instead, choose to be fully present, really here. This is a time for you to get to be still, to be poured into and receive, but you've got to be open and present to receive. So this show is for you. It's an opportunity for you to be empowered, encouraged, and supported on your journey so that you can bring forward everything you are called to bring forward. So choose to be fully present. Let's take a breath together again. And as you're breathing, close your eyes just a moment and really feel into what is it that you need today What will serve, serve you on your journey. What will support you? What will help you bring your brilliance forward? That message that has been pulling at your heart and your spirit, that book that has been speaking to you, what is it you need today to support you that you are willing to receive? Because you have choice. So what is it that you need and are willing to receive? Really looking to discover or learn or be empowered along the way to bring your message forward. Just receive that information. You don't have to worry about the how. It's just identifying what it is you need. Beautiful. Take another breath. Open your eyes, fully present. Take a moment to write down what was laid on your heart that you need and are willing to receive. And as you're doing that, I'm going to introduce our author, our um, first guest today. I'm very excited to introduce him to you. His name is Joseph Luckett. He is a number one international best-selling author, founder and CEO of Zero to 100. He has created a unique twist to networking that transforms why professionals meet one another. He and his wife founded Zero to 100 an inclusive networking movement that operates on a global scale. He's been recognized for several prestigious awards, including Beyond the Best, Top 50 in Business Award, Top 100 in St. Louisians, You Need to Know to Succeed in Business. Please lean in 
and warmly welcome the powerful, charismatic, and dynamic Joseph Lickett to the show. Welcome! <laughs> Thank you so much, Rebecca, for the incredible introduction, and I'm honored to be here with you this afternoon. Oh, you are so welcome. I'm excited to have you joining us. And I wanted to take a moment as we're starting our conversation to really see why. Why did you decide to bring this book forward, to bring this um, movement forward? Why did this become important to you and so important that you decided to bring it forward in a book as well? I would address or answer that from the perspective that, one, I was the guy that went to the library looking for the networking section, and the librarian said, are you talking about IT, when mm -hmm. I really meant business networking. Number two, I was also that guy who tried to Google data surrounding networking and come to find out there is no data surrounding it. And number three, I tried to find some sort of universal process uh, that would work for whatever channel or whatever medium a person wanted to network through. I looked for that, and that didn't exist. So mm. if you bottle all three of those together, and you're able to put it into a book and make it inclusive for everybody, no matter where you come from, no matter what your height, weight, race, et cetera, is, they could plug into something like this and, and be that individual that's in society that does no longer go missing. They're an individual that can be a part of something that has been life-changing for me. Mm. So beautiful. And I love that you discovered there was a gap in information and resources being available in that. And that you stepped in to being willing to fill that gap and make that information available. And it was so powerfully received. You just recently released it and it became a number one. And this is a really big deal, listeners, for those of you who are newer to the different levels that, a, that a, a book can hit. And it was released and became a number one international best-selling book. And it actually hit best-selling status in multiple countries, multiple categories. It hit number one in multiple countries and categories. It hit a total of 30 best-selling categories. And to me, when I hear that and I see that, that means, yes, you're, you're, information, your book was so needed that you recognize that you brought it forward and you were willing to stand in that place to make it available and help people discover it, find it, lean into it and say yes and add this to their library. So I just, I celebrate that you have done that. I'd love for you to share the title of your book and the, and the subtitle so they get the full title from it. Wonderful. The name of the book is Zero to 100, The Gold Standard of Global Networking. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing. And I'm going to add um, a stat to this that you shared with us kind of behind the scenes that this book has scientifically proven through statistical analysis that it has helped people raise their leads, so increase their leads 279%, not just 10%, 20%, 279%, 170% increase in income. Truly powerful, truly impactful. And I celebrate you leaning in, bringing this forward, being willing to, to share it with the world. And as you reflect back on the journey, is there any thing that stands out in your mind as you're thinking about our fellow authors listening, those who are looking to bring their message forward, any tip or piece of advice that you'd like to share with our listeners today? Yes, there was advice that was shared with me early on. Don't worry about if it's perfect. Don't worry about grammar. Don't worry about punctuation. That's not your job. Just put the information on the page and get yourself somebody who does specialize in punctuation, who does specialize in grammar, and let that be their job because that's what they've been trained to do. You just mm. put the bones of the information on the paper, and the individual that you bring on or the team of indiv individuals you bring on, they will ensure that your message resonates with who it's supposed to resonate with. Oh, perfect. 
Great advice. Thank you for sharing. We are getting ready to go to our first commercial break. And as we do that, listeners, I want you to think about that that beautiful advice that focus on what you're called to bring forward. Don't focus on the grammar and the punctuation. Let someone else be the expert in that part. Be the expert in bringing the content forward, not worrying about it being perfect, but getting it out, getting it available, and then have experts support you. Great, great advice. So as we go to our first commercial break, I want you to think about this and really take a moment to be present And really think about how powerful it would be to bring your book forward, to have it received globally, internationally, really having the impact it's called to have. And we'll look forward to continuing our conversation in just a moment. Explore the poetry of Sam Yao. His book of poems, Soul's Journey, is a number one international bestseller. Sam is a contemporary poet with a unique and highly relatable poetic style to convey the essence of spiritual truths for our time. Readers will find beauty, inspiration, and healing in his words. Get his book, Soul's Journey, today on Amazon.com or visit SamYaoPoetry.com. That's Sam, Y-A-U, Poetry.com. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that moment to stop and pause and think about the information being shared with you, the tips, the advice, and see what's speaking to you, your heart and your spirit, and what you are called to bring forward. So important that we lean in and find a way to bring our information forward. Uh, We are talking with Joseph Luckett, and he was sharing some of his advice of what he discovered, kind of looking back over the journey, advice he'd been given, and that served him really well in looking to bring his book forward. And we also shared how powerfully his book was received, becoming a number one international best-selling book, multiple categories, multiple countries which creates great visibility and excitement. And I'm curious with that, Joseph, as you look at that and the buzz that was created and the excitement, kind of the build up to the release of the book, and then having the other formats come out, how have you been able, I guess, one, what is that like? And then two, how have you been able to harness that to kind of keep the buzz and visibility going? What I put in place was an email address for any opportunity that somebody approached me with that they would be able to submit that information there. And Mm -hmm. as we got close to releasing the book and as the book rolled out, I was able to then go back to that email address and systematically approach each one of those opportunities in the respected way and also have my wife take over my calendar in that respect to where no opportunity is actually missed. Mm -hmm. So we addressed every single opportunity um, accordingly. Oh, so powerful. So I love that as you were building, getting ready for the launch and release, you had a way that you were directing that visibility and the energy and that focus and having them join a list and then a way to um, continue the relationship and to follow up. And I love that you have support. You brought in support to be able to do the follow-up and uh, make sure all those connections and inquiries and everything that people have, that you are able to keep that relationship going, that buzz going. Any additional tips you would add to that for anyone who's looking at keeping that connection and visibility going? 
Uh, I would say when somebody's giving you an opportunity, uh, addressing each and every one, don't write off the opportunity because you may feel that that may not be your target market, where in essence, when you're an author, your target market is people. And I Mm -hmm. often tell people, serve the human race, don't cherry pick the race. In other words, Mm -hmm. treat everybody as an equal uh, because they're taking time out of their lives to give you an opportunity. And the greatest thing you can do is show gratitude by addressing them and giving them your time. No one's Mm -hmm. busy. We're all productive, but no one's busy. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate that. And I'm really excited today that you have um, brought some of your team aboard to share with us. Um, We don't always get that opportunity. So we're getting to pull back the curtain, hear from you, and then also hear from some of your team directly, which is where it's really exciting. And so I'd like to introduce our first team member, Kay. And Kay has over 31 years of experience in graphic design. She has worked with clients such as as Anheuser-Busch, Mers Goodwill, Brewers Crafted Pork, and she joined Zero to 100 in April of 2018 as a branding specialist and design expert. She is passionate about helping people drive their business to that next level. Please lean in and warmly welcome the talented and creative Kay Sondreger to the show. Welcome. (laughs) Oh, Rebecca, I love your intros. They're they're amazing. (laughs) So much fun. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you for having me. You are welcome, and I'm glad. (laughs) I think we should all be introduced with excitement and enthusiasm. (laughs) Uh, So welcome. I'm I'm thrilled to have you joining us and excited to um, talk about some of what you have been part of with Zero to 100. And you created the cover. And I know there's some great thought and and, – perspective that went into creating the cover. And I don't know if we always get a chance to talk with the designer and know why a cover is designed a certain way. And um, what are some of your favorite things about the cover and any insight or direction you can give us around looking at covers? Sure, absolutely. Um, well, the first step that we did, as I sat down with Joseph in a, in a cafe uh, mm-hmm. back in the middle of the uh, 2018, and we talked about our target audience, we talked about the brand messaging, we talked about who we wanted to reach and how we wanted to reach them, and the power of the booth, which is what Joseph calls uh, two people sitting across from each other and, and really getting to know each other on an authentic, you know, genuine um playing field. And so we talked about all these different messages and and it came to my mind that, you know, what we're really talking about here is people interacting with other people in a way that brings out the best in everyone. And so that's where we came up with the idea of, of the book cover, which is two people sitting across from each other, having coffee and really interacting in that intimate way. And so it was really fun because this one just kind of became its own thing right out of the gate. And it was amazing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, I love that. But it came back to really being clear <laughs> and aligned. Yeah. And, mm-hmm. um, and what the message. So I love that. Um, any Anything else you would like to add to the cover and the design? And I love how it just kind of came from that and flowed beautifully. Because that isn't always the journey of a cover. <laughs> so if you might sharing just a little bit more of um, some of the things that you love about the cover and any tips or advice for anyone out there looking to bring a cover forward? Sure. I think it's really important to start from a 10,000 foot view about, you know, deciding the niche that you're filling, uh, talking about the objectives of what you want the book to accomplish, you know, again, looking at your target audience and who this message is for, you're going to design a book cover very differently for a primarily female audience versus a primarily male or age groups or, you know, people that are interested in different topics or industries. So as Joseph mentioned, we do have a wide variety and we are truly interacting with the human race, but Mm -hmm. it's about that intimacy and kind of that power of zero to 100, um, 
that we answered all of these questions and came up with a book cover. But I think sometimes people just throw something at the wall and try to see what sticks. And I think it's more important to define those things before you start than kind Mm. of starting out in the whole universe. Really, really great advice and tip um, because there's so many directions, so many different things that could be created. It makes sense to really start with clarity (laughs) on where you're trying to go, what you're trying to capture, um, who you're trying to reach. I think that's really, really great information and important for us to think about. And when you, when you think about the journey that you've been on together and creating the cover and so many of the branding pieces and things that I know you have, have been part of. Is there a favorite moment um, that you have is just kind of think back on, on the journey since April of 2018. Is there a favorite moment? (laughs) You know, there is. Um, I sat down with Joseph to just basically learn about his company. He had already picked out uh, some, some people to help him with the design and the branding And this magical thing happened, and we just clicked in a way where I was like, whoa, this Mm. guy is amazing. And he was like, whoa, (laughs) this chick's amazing. And I don't know what happened that day, but it just, we both just walked out of there, like, shaking our heads like, this was obviously meant to be. And I don't think either one of us had really counted on supporting each other the way that we have, even though Mm. Joseph supports everyone he meets. And that was really, really neat. And I'll, I'll never forget it. I mean, it was one of the most memorable client slash friend interactions I've ever had. Wow. How powerful. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you for sharing. I love that. And, and so much has been created from that just continues with that, <laughs> you know, that openness to connect that way, that willingness to go there and, and to honor where that's being led, even if it was a little different than what either of you had thought <laughs> was going to happen that day <laughs> and being open and trusting that. I, I just love that. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate it. My pleasure. I'm excited to also introduce Anya. Anya is the ghostwriter behind Zero 200. She's a freelance writer and marketer with over six years experience creating content for business and organizations to connect with their target audiences. Her mission in life is to call to people, call people to take positive actions using their voice. She's very involved in humanist I would say organizations just locally and around the world, really helping them move forward um, the human race in so many different ways. And so I am excited to introduce the powerful, dynamic, and heart centered Anya Overman to the show. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you for that, Rebecca. You're very welcome and excited to have you joining us today. And I wanted to start with, um, I think I'm going to start with a favorite moment. So um, actually, to give context to the favorite moment, can you share some of um, what that means to be a ghostwriter? Because I don't know if everyone knows what that means to help bring the book forward and the content forward. Do you mind sharing a little bit of what that means, what that's like? Sure, absolutely. So Joseph mentioned that um, one of the more important things, um, you know, in being an author and bringing a book forward is just getting the ideas onto paper and mm-hmm. getting them out of your head um, and kind of just building the bones for a book. Um, and I'm the, you know, I'm the person that takes those bones and builds a body out of them, essentially. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of what a ghostwriter does. Um, you know, they, they take the ideas that somebody has and they, they craft them into into the books that, you know, that we know and read. So that's mm. essentially what a ghostwriter does. Um, Beautiful. And to, to bring it back to your original question mm-hmm. with the favorite moment, you know, I'd say, um, you know, it's been, it's been a long ride writing with Joseph and it's been amazing. Um, and mm. one of the major setbacks that we had was the pandemic. So we were ready to, to publish last year. Um, kind of March 12th, started shutting down and, you know, having just written a book about business networking where, you know, much of the, um, the context is built around groups of people where you're coming into contact regularly. It just, mm-hmm. 
it didn't make as much sense as before, and it immediately became this um, you know, kind of outdated material, which was really discouraging that, you know, everything that we'd been working on suddenly became kind of irrelevant. So, mm. you know, we took a little while to regroup, um, mm-hmm. and we spent few more months writing, um, and we made it uh, so that it included more virtual networking and really... Um, we rolled with the functions in a way that we just never saw coming. So mm-hmm. I'd say that was one of my, my favorite moments of rebounding from that in such an incredible way. Uh, thank you for sharing that. I appreciate that because um, when you're bringing a book forward, it is a journey. It does take time. It, it's not an overnight thing. And it's um, and then to have it where it's almost ready and then have the world change around you and suddenly have to restructure things or regroup and to be able to lean into that and do that so powerfully that you guys did and you were able to bring that forward and bring all of that powerful content forward to really help people in the world that we are in now being able to still network connect bring messages forward is such a gift to all of us so i'm actually i i celebrate that you all recognize that instead of you know pushing through and trying to make it happen anyway <laughs> we already finished this <laughs> this is coming that you regrouped and really looked at okay how can we adjust and change this and really have it serve people for what we're facing and dealing with now and i think that how powerfully it was re- received is such a a testament to that so thank you for sharing that 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 was one of your favorite moments that rebounding and being able to to um, shift and add that valuable content. Anything you would add to that? Yeah. You know, it, it really came a long process. I mean, I don't think any of us anticipated, you know, a global pandemic to, to affect <laughs> the process in the way yeah. that it did. Um, but plenty of, plenty of writers and authors go through this um, all the time where, they, you know, something giant happens in their life and kind of alters the course of, uh, you know, their plan for uh, rolling a book, and you, you kind of just got to roll with it. And, you know, mm-hmm. sometimes it can even be part of the story. So um, I, I think there's there's real grace and um, beauty in being able to roll with those punches and, and kind of take it as it comes. Beautiful. I love that. And really being willing to um, bring it forward forward anyway, not letting that be the reason not to, but having it actually add value and becoming part of the journey um, is is powerful. And I think that applies to so many areas in our life as well as writing and, and bringing a book forward. And I'm, I'm curious of when we talk about the visibility that was created with this book and the buzz and kind of the lead up to and the ramping up and creating the list and then the launch of the book and then continuing the momentum as the different formats are released and and made available. Um, How are you helping support continuing that visibility um, to continue the momentum? Sure. So um, I, have a unique background as a ghostwriter and that I come from marketing. So much Mm. of my writing experience is based in content marketing. So I'm, you know, not only intimately familiar with the content of the book, but I'm intimately familiar with how to market it as well. So, you know, as we're rolling this out, um, I'm producing content. Uh, to promote the book on social media through um, through email to to the list that we have for zero to one hundred, mm-hmm. um, and what's really cool is that Joseph is basically just a walking proof of concept of his own book. He's got this mm-hmm. yeah. network that he can he can market to, and because he built such strong relationships with these mm-hmm. his network, they're enthused to promote the book for him. So I would say that, you know, this is a book for authors as well. You know, it it really helps, um, you know, drive exposure, uh, not just for businesses, but for for authors as well. Beautiful. Absolutely. And it's all about those connections anyway (laughs) that we are trying to make, whether it's readers, viewers, listeners, um, business connections that we're looking to make connections. I love how we want to remember that and to build those relationships uh, from them and that the relationships that have been built over time have led to that visibility and success. And then it just kind of continues and continues really powerful. I appreciate it. Well, thank you so much for sharing Anya. I appreciate it. 
Absolutely. And Joseph, I'm going to come back to you. I have another question for you. And I'm curious, as you've brought this book forward, as you've launched it, as it's become a number one international bestselling book, I keep sharing that because I'm excited about it and it's a huge accomplishment. How has bringing this book forward enabled you to be able to help more people? I would say it's, infant credibility. Um, oh. So I've had people come out of the woodwork um, from childhood friends that I wasn't connected to before, uh, teachers that have lost contact with me, and through one teacher that I am connected to, my book has reached their timeline or reached conversation with them, and they've seeked me out via LinkedIn or Twitter or Facebook, and now not only want copies, but want to find a way to support um, their childhood, um, a guy named Joey, as when I was a boy, mm. Joey, mm. they want to find me to be able to do that. Um, so it's this instant credibility is, is mm. what I would say. Um, and even more so, I would even go a step further. <clears throat> I would even go a step further. It's not just instant credibility. It's more importantly, people into the expert seat. And, and one of the things I always tell people is I never want to be known as a GES. That's a guru, an expert, or a specialist. I just want to be known as a novice in constant training. Mm. So, so that's how I've been able, I guess, to leverage and in, in what it's mean, what it's meant uh, to be a number one international bestseller. I, I love it. And really being able to speak from that place, having that instant credibility, that connection, that touch point can open up so many more doors and such an opportunity to reach even more people, more lives. And I love how people are coming together to support and be part of it. That's just beautiful. Well, we're getting ready to go to our next commercial break. And as we do that, listeners, I want you to think about all the information, the insight, the wisdom, the expert tips that have been shared with you. Take a moment to really digest, process, receive. Look at your notes. See if there's anything in addition that you want to add to that while everything's fresh in your mind to capture. And when we come back, we're going to continue our conversation, have a speed round of tips and advice. So you want to have that paper ready and we'll look forward to our conversation in just a moment. Explore the poetry of Sam Yao. His book of poems, Soul's Journey, is a number one international bestseller. Sam is a contemporary poet with a unique and highly relatable poetic style to convey the essence of spiritual truths for our time. Readers will find beauty, inspiration, and healing in his words. Get his book, Soul's Journey, today on Amazon.com or visit SamYaoPoetry.com. That's Sam, Y-A-U, Poetry.com. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. Welcome back, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed that time, that moment to really digest some of those great tips and advice and insights that you were given in that last segment. It was so rich and full of goodies. So I'm glad that we had that opportunity. I hope that you took a moment to really capture some of those thoughts and what you want to take with you. Because that's part of the power of this is really taking those insights, tips, information, things, way to look at things how to approach things, not getting caught up in the perfection of things, bringing in a team for support. It's not a solo journey. 
let's write some of those things down and how to start really implementing that in your life. At the end of today's show, I encourage you to take a couple moments and review your notes before you rush back out into the world and really look at one to two things that you can do to start bringing your message forward, bringing your book forward, because it will always be a someday unless we start to bring it forward into today. So I encourage you to take those steps. So with that, Joseph, I want to start with you. Um, During our speed round, I want to go through and have just quick tips, quick piece of advice, kind of first thought that pops into your head to, to share with our listeners. So for anyone who is stuck in that someday I'm going to bring a book forward or I've been working on it and it's been kind of years in the making and still years in the making, they keep tweaking and redoing it. What is a tip or advice you can give them to help them bring it forward now, not someday to really make it happen and bring it forward? I would say get it out of your possession and put it into the possession of an expert. You've done Mm. all you're supposed to be doing as taking the information from your mind to the pad. Now put it into the possession of somebody who is an expert from a writing perspective, but more importantly, ensure that you also ask somebody who's working on the jacket or the cover of the book. As I said with my book, uh, the the outside of the book is the trailer, and the content inside is the movie. Just make sure both are congruent and have your individuals that are on your team match that and continue leading with people first. Perfect. Thank you for sharing. I love it. I love it. Anya, as you're thinking about our listeners today, and do you have any piece of advice or tip to one, bring it forward, make it happen? And two, any final tip or thought you have about ways they can bring powerful content forward and connect connect with their target market, the ideal people they're trying to reach? Yeah, so I would definitely echo what Joseph has said, um, getting it out of your hands and into the hands of somebody that is trained and, and has experience in writing is a really big step uh, towards making it happen. And I would also say having uh, the feedback of beta readers, those people that you trust to fall mm. into that demographic that you're trying to target, uh, for them to read it before um, before it goes out. Um, so that you can you can take that feedback back to the book and and really clean it up in a way that uh, you may not have thought of before. So that's a it's a really powerful tactic to to really nail it. Beautiful, thank you. Great, great advice. Kay, any tip, piece of advice for the cover, the branding as they're looking at that, the trailer as Joseph was calling it. Um, piece of advice mm-hmm. or tip around that, and any tip advice about how people can not have it be someday, but really bring it forward. Yeah, my best advice would be don't wait until you've got the book completely finished and sparkling and shining. Start thinking about, you know, that cover, that trailer early. And Mm -hmm. what I always suggest people do is go through a discovery process where you ask yourself all these questions or you have your designer ask these questions that you might not even have thought of asking. You know, who the competition is, what your niche is, the objectives of the book, etc. And do this early on when you're engaged in writing it and, you, and you're in the meat and potatoes of, of, of the content of the book. Start thinking about that and reaching out to someone for help at that time. Don't wait till the last mm-hmm. second because it does take some time to design the right cover. And I think the cover is equally as important if it's an ebook, a hardcover paperback, it's what gets people engaged. It's what, get pe- it's what gets people excited. It's the trailer to your movie. So, mm-hmm. you know, definitely agree on uh, what, what Joseph said there. Perfect. Thank you. I appreciate that. And I find that when um, people see that cover and it's that right cover for them and their book, it becomes more real to them. I find that happens. Do you find that, Kay? I'm curious. Oh, my gosh. That. Absolutely. Like suddenly, <laughs> it's not like, just a concept so anymore, so right? Right. <laughs> exactly. I agree. Oh, I love that. I love that. So Joseph, circling back on that, um, when you saw the cover design, did it do that for you? Did it finally make it more real? Or has it always been real to you? I'm curious about that. Um, the moment that Kay sent me a text message over the weekend way back and told me that it was a home run, and I asked her, would I love it? And she said, absolutely. And as we fast forward, 
and we're sitting in the restaurant and she hands my wife the folder. She hands me the folder. I didn't want to open it first. So I had mm. my wife open it because I trust what I trust her taste. So mm-hmm. she opens it and gives me those eyes. And I knew at that point I was a home run. So mm. to answer your question, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> I, I, I think uh, Kay knocked it out of the freaking park, to be totally mm. honest with you. And that's not me drinking her Kool-Aid. That's not me wearing rose-colored glasses. That is a flat fact. Mm. Oh, so powerful. Thank you for sharing. And, it was, and we got to even experience that with you a little bit, which is great. <laughs> so I love it. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate that. And then Anya, did you have any final tip um, that you wanted to share with us either about content? Because one of the comments you made in the last segment was that he, Joseph's like a walking, he, he's walking the talk <laughs> and that that makes the content, the development really easy and it just kind of flows. Any final tip or thought there? for people that are looking to develop that that content or to um, help reach the people they're trying to reach? Yeah, I, I think that having other people validate, um, you know, the, the book inside of your head, um, it really helps bring that out even more. Um, so having Joseph being able to share this with so many other people um, I think just it just gives life to the concept and it makes it easier to write. So when you talk about it more, when you share you share it with other people, um, they they are taking part in your story too. So that that really mm-hmm. gives it a weight that makes it just so much easier to to bring it to life. Mm, beautiful. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate that. And one of the things I love to do with our guests and listeners is I want you to be able to connect. I think that's really important, especially with the book we're talking about today. Connections <laughs> is so important and, and a big part of it. And so we're going to go through um, each person that shared with us today and have them share their contact information. We're also going to share where you can get a copy of this powerful book, Zero to 100, if you haven't already. We want you to know the best way to do that and to stay in touch. So to start, Joseph, can I have you share the best way for people to get a copy of the book and the formats that are available and the best way for them to connect in with you? Uh, The best way to get the book is www.zero100.io. And there's a tab that's on there called the book that a person can get the book. And presently, the book's available on Kindle. Mm-hmm. And it's available on paperback as of a couple of days ago. And oh, in fresh June, off the press. We anticipate, mm-hmm. Fresh off the press. And in June, we anticipate the hardback. And then later this year, we anticipate the audible version. And over time, uh, we aspire to have the book available in 80 languages, including Braille. Mm. So powerful. I didn't know that last part. I'm excited. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. That'll be so accessible, so available for so many. Really, really powerful. Um, so thank you for sharing. And what is the best way for people to connect with you? Media at 0to100.io. That is mm-hmm. media at zero dot to I O. Perfect. Thank you, Joseph. I appreciate it. Congratulations on the success of your book. And I can't wait for all the different formats and uh, languages as they unfold um, throughout the coming year. So that's exciting in years because I know the translations take a little time, but that's exciting. And then Anya, what's the best way for people to connect with you? You can find me at anyaoverman.com, and that's A-N-Y-A over M-A-N-N, or they can email me at anya at anyaoverman.com. Beautiful. Thank you. And how about you, Kay? What's the best way for people to connect with you? I am at Made You Look, ironically, which is <laughs> uh, www. <clears throat> dot made m a d e y o u l o o k dot net, mm-hmm. and uh, you can email me directly at k s for k sondreger at made you look dot net. Perfect.
Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Listeners, thank you for leaning in and being part of the conversation today. Um, I hope that you wrote down some of those great tips and insights during the the speed round during the segment to um, really be able to bring those forward. Great advice from amazing experts that have been really successful in the work that they do. So you're really hearing great advice from people who are walking the talk that are out there doing this, bringing it forward. And I kept hearing the, it's time to get support, put it in other people's hands, find a way to bring it forward, um, to, to kind of release it, be ready to share it with the world. So I encourage you to find a way to take a step on that, to bring your book forward because it's needed now, not someday. And I love the advice about leaning in and getting a copy of this book to support you on your journey because it is about connecting. It is about building relationships. And that's something we all want to be able to do with our readers with our listeners for those that we're trying to reach and impact. So I encourage you to lean in, get a copy today, have an amazing week, and make sure to take steps today to bring your book and your message forward. Have an amazing week. I'll talk to you next time. Thank you for tuning in to The Author's Journey. Please join Rebecca Hall Greider for another edition of the Author's Journey podcast every Monday on the Voice America Variety Channel. And until we talk again, use some of the tips and inspiration from today's show to guide you as you lean in to bringing your message forward.